Hi and welcome to this practice today. Today we're going to do three poses. Three, three poses. <laughs> that will help you with the inversions. Well, it, it will help you in the inversion. Sometimes in aerial yoga, what can happen? You might feel a bit um, blue or green. <laughs> so it could be that the contents of our stomach are coming up and really want to feel sick. So, uh, just to come back to it, it happens and it's normal and it's our body needs to get used to it. So there are four, three poses you can do at home for your body to get used to being upside down. So for the tissues to start strengthening in the right area. So let's get started. It's a quick po three poses. So before you do it, before you jump in, make sure you do like some kind of warm up. Warm -up. It could be the hand and eight sun salutation. I'm going to link them up here. Um, so make sure let's do that before we jump into this one. So, the first pose that's going to help you with the inversion and getting used to inversion it will be a down dog, so, um, or downward facing dog. Um, so, because it's an inversion, it's a beginner inversion, so hands down, we're going into our all fours, ducking the, 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 the toes under, and then with your hands, I really want to think about activating your hands, so uh, fingers nice and wide, and we want to claw the mat, so let me claw it into it. So everything is nicely engaged and then we want to sit back and goes in between the uh, bicep so my ears are next to my bicep and then I want to have nice and long spine inhaling extending my spine exhaling pushing my bum up and then I don't want you to extend your legs that's not the point of I want you to make sure that your spine is nice and long here so hands flowing into the mat and nicely engaged and we breathe in here, inhale, nice and slow. And exhale. Another inhale. And exhale. Let's do a couple more inhales. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, let's bring it down. So you can stay here for as long as you wish. Um, it's working definitely on your forearms and on your hands if you claw the mat. So you can stay in this pose for a couple of breaths and then maybe do a couple of rounds of it um, to work on this inversion, taking the contents of our stomach upside down and allowing the body to strengthen the areas so that needs to hold it a while upside down. So the next pose here will be a dolphin pose. Uh, it's pretty uh, nice for the shoulders, but it's pretty good for, for opening the shoulders so you might have to work it slowly here. So do, do a dolphin pose. I want to place hands down as uh, into a forearm plank. So if your hands are closing together, take a block or a book and place it here in between the hands. So you've got something that will restrict your, your movement to the inside, okay? So use that block if you need to, and then tucking toes under, either tucking toes under and bringing the bum up the same way as we don't in that block. So you can stay here for a couple of nice breaths, Exhale. Another inhale. Exhale. It's the same thing as in the dog and dog. We want to have nice and long spine. Exhale. Another more inhale. See if you can maybe come a little bit closer. Inhaling. Exhaling. And then move back. And then down. And your shoulders nice. Roll. You probably felt it, it's working very well onto your shoulders but also working on the contents of, the, of your stomach. So both of the poses will be really nice progression or really, really nice conditioning for your area because first of all hands are working, shoulders are working and that's also what we use in area plus if you're going down. The last pose I want to show you for training your stomach to keep the contents of your stomach inside is the shoulder stone pose. And the shoulder stand really needs to be done with a blanket. I don't have a blanket with me just now, but I will link here a um, uh, video to shoulder stand with the blanket as well as how to do shoulder stand using the wall. If you not up there yet to get yourself up, you can use the wall. So check it out, that link will be here. Um, but 
make sure you wash it before you do your shoulder stand and the most important thing in your shoulder stand I don't want you to move your head around so just like looking up and straight so making sure you've got this blanket underneath the shoulders the head is lying onto the floor hands down into the mat and bringing the legs to the chest so you might want to swing a little bit take over the head and then open it up hands go behind I want to have this nice little chin lock so chin to the chest in here and inhaling nice and slow so this pose is great for a lot of things so I highly recommend this pose to the Ion Daily for a couple of minutes it works, it works magic nice slow inhales exhale and another inhale and exhale and slowly big inhale exhaling slowly inhaling and to come up slowly take the, hand, the legs behind the head hands can go to the side placing onto the floor and then slowly releasing you can let go into sitting from here so that's the three poses that will help you with your area practice with going upside down and making sure your stomach holds everything for you so that's downward facing dog the dolphin pose and the shoulder stand and remember to have a walk warm up before and now you can do into you can do nice shibasana after your practice and hope you liked it let me know how it was in the comment i would recommend using it daily and just to train your body to be upside down you know stay longer stay for a lot more breaths and just work your way through it let me know how it was in the comments if you, if you can notice any difference and i see you here next week namaste